So you're looking for the perfect sneaker for summer. Look no further than the Nike Dunk Low Silhouette. We have been getting some absolute bangers over the last couple of months. Today I have one of the latest drops on the channel. This is the Nike Dunk Low in the Coconut Milk colorway. These are pretty nice, a lot better in hand. Check these out. Yes, my people, what is good? I hope you're having a blessed day. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the Nike Dunk Low in the Coconut Milk colorway. I'll be looking at this shoe in more detail. We'll be looking at the design, the materials used, sizing, and I'll be giving you my opinion when it comes to resale, which is pretty important for these shoes. And of course, I'll be giving you that on feet as well, so make sure you watch the entire video for that. Let's get straight into the review. So we have one of the latest Dunk Lows on the channel. This is the Coconut Milk, and I have to say, this colorway is absolutely incredible. I really do like it. I think this shoe is absolutely perfect for summer. And it was a very unexpected shoe in my opinion. So I actually saw these sneakers on the Nike app and I really didn't think too much of them as it's a Dunk Low. I always like to grab and get myself a pair of Dunk Lows whenever they drop. And actually getting these in hand, I have to say the materials on the shoe are a lot, lot different from what you would get from a normal Dunk Low, a GR Dunk Low. So you look on the underlayers of the shoe, so the toe box and the side panel, you do get this really nice buttery leather in that coconut milk type colorway i suppose but it is incredible you normally never get such buttery leather on a dunk low which i am very surprised about and i think all in all this colorway is just insane like i actually saw these and i didn't really think too much of them as i said before but actually getting them in hand the colorway is really really nice so so different so i think you have to really get these shoes in hand to actually feel the presence of the shoe. It's really, really nice on these. A Couple of days ago, we had these sneakers dropped in the UK. Retail was that 90 pounds as it usually is, which I'm very surprised because the materials on the shoe are pretty nice. Even though it's a GR Dunk, we do get a lot nicer materials. So I kind of expected the price point to be a little bit more, but I'm not complaining. I love that the shoe retails for 90 pounds. And as I said before, I grabbed my pair as I always do from the Nike app, I always seem to grab a pair of Dunks from there, so I'm not complaining. I did see these drop at quite a few other retailers as well. I did see these drop at End, I believe Size. Foot Patrol had these as well, I can't remember if they actually did, but quite a few other retailers had the shoe. Um, so it doesn't really strike me as a shoe that's exclusive and really, really limited, but I still think it's a solid, solid release. A really, really nice shoe, and I think that 89 pounds, 90 pound price point, really nice, really, really justified on this. So as I mentioned before, we do get some pretty decent materials on this shoe and it's very, very different from what you would get from a normal GR Dunk. So we look at the toe box. The toe box is done in that white leather, which I think is pretty nice. We come to the mud guard. The mud guard is done in that synthetic um, leather that you would normally get on a GR Dunk and it's done in that coconut milk colorway. You come to the side of the shoe, the underlayers of the shoe, so the inside the white bits of the shoe that is done in that really nice buttery leather. The swoosh is done in white, which I think is a really nice touch to the shoe. You come to the back, the back of the shoe, you do get your Nike logo stitched in white. You come to the midsole, the midsole is done in white as well. The outsole is done in a really, really cool coconut milk colorway, which I think is a really, really nice touch. You come to the laces, you do get your nice white laces, the same laces as you would get from the GR Dunks. You take a look at the tongue, the tongue is done in white. You do get your Nike logo stitched in on the tab there and that's also done in white. The insole of the shoe has a very, very cool coconut milk color as well, which I think is very nice, same as the sock liner. And I think all in all, this shoe is absolutely perfect for summer. I think when the sun hits the shoe, it's gonna be pretty nice. When it comes to sizing, I always suggest going through the size when it comes to a Nike Dunk Low or a Nike Dunk High, a Jordan 1 Mid, a Jordan 1 High, anything Nike related, go through the size and they fit absolutely perfect. I went through the size on these because I think the materials on this will definitely hold up. So I don't really think I'll need a crease protector in this, not just yet anyway, but I went through the size and they fit absolutely perfect. So if you're usually a UK 7, Go for a UK 7 and you should be fine with these. So that brings us on to resale. And for these shoes, 
I do expect a slight increase in the value of these shoes over time, especially in the next couple of months. But I do not expect this shoe to hit crazy, crazy numbers. I think the smaller sizes will do better. Currently, these sneakers are reselling just above retail. So there is not much to be made on these shoes now. But I think the smaller sizes, the base sizes will definitely go up in value to around that 120 mark. I don't expect them to go any further. But I think we've been getting so many shoes with that coconut milk colorway attached to it. And a couple of them have done really well, so that the Jordan 1 mid coconut milk is just a really, really incredible shoes. And the good thing is when we do get a coconut milk colorway, the materials do really hit different as well. We do get some really nice materials on them. But for this shoe, it's not a shoe I would personally invest in. This is one I wanted to grab just to see if I could review it and see what it would look like in my personal collection of dunks. But I really, really like it. Really, really nice shoe. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it per se, but... I think it's a really nice shoe for the collection. Our final thoughts on the Nike Dunk Low in the coconut milk colorway. I think it's a really, really cool shoe. I think the colorway is just insane. The materials are very unexpected, very nice, especially on the underlays of the shoe, so the toe box and the side panel. But I just think the colorway on this is just amazing. So this is a shoe for me. Is 100% must cop and I reckon you can get these for a really good price as well on the secondary market if you miss the drop you're going to be breaking the bank to buy a pair of these which is, I think is a very very good thing as well so for me 100% must cop yes my people that is it for the video I hope you enjoyed it and found the information useful as always if you haven't already remember to hit that subscribe button below and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and if you haven't already remember to hit me on Instagram the handle is here and I'll be dropping the on feet now so Check them out. For the on feet, I'm rocking some basic black jogging bottoms from H&M. I'm rocking the Severe and Cold Tan Colorway Sock, which you can find on their website. I'll leave a link in the description and use my code below for 10% off your first purchase. And of course, I'm rocking the Coconut Milk Dunk Low. Check them out.